everybody and welcome to the very first day of vlogmas i'm so excited right now we are having breakfast and after breakfast we're probably going to put up the tree for breakfast i made what i usually make which is toast and eggs and a banana and i have yogurt but the girls don't have yogurt because they'll get it everywhere and i do mean everywhere for dinner tonight i already have it in the crock pot cooking and it's chicken and dumplings, and it's kind of an adaptation of Brittany and Baby's recipe. I will have her recipe in my description bar below. But uh, I've kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, I have three chicken breasts in here. I don't have a cream of chicken, even though I really wanted a cream of chicken. I just forgot it at the grocery store. So instead, I only have one can of cream of mushroom, chicken broth, three um, tablespoons of butter, because I have three chicken breasts in there. And I use poultry seasoning instead of black pepper and parsley because it has more flavor. It has parsley and sage and black pepper and there's just a whole lot more in there uh, than just parsley and black pepper. So that is cooking. Uh, I have to add the dumpling part, which is the biscuits and like, I don't know, an hour before it's served. But I can't wait to have chicken and dumplings. I'm craving them so bad. And we are actually eating breakfast at the dinner table. Ta dinner table? At the table together. Hi, Carly. Devin set up my table again for Thanksgiving. And he just pushed it back here in the corner. So we've kind of made do. Hi. It's a good breakfast. A Very good tasty, breakfast. Mommy. Are you doing huh? breakfast? Good breakfast? <laughs> Kinley wanted to be included in this. Didn't ya? I suppose I want you to pick me up, Mommy. Yeah. We have all eaten breakfast, and now it's time to put up our tree. I am so excited. Usually I put up my tree, like, the week before Thanksgiving, because I love Christmas that much. But I wanted to kind of hold off until Vlogmas, because I was so excited for it. So we get to put it up today, don't we? What's that, Carly? A beautiful tree. Beautiful tree? Do you like it? I like it. You like it? That's good. good. So this is our tree with our little star topper on top that lights up. Seriously, this is the best I could do at 27 weeks pregnant. I am just kind of tired at this point. <laughs> I um, moved the lights around as much as I could, and that's the best that I could do. I see I have a tiny little bald spot right there. Oh well. Oh wait, no, it's not really that bald. You just have to move. Anyway, um, I use two different kinds of lights. I use the regular lights that probably everybody uses. These little ones. But then I use these big lights. These big bulb lights. Because my very first year putting up this tree, which was in 2014, um, I noticed that the middle of my tree looked so bare and the rest of my tree looked fine. So my solution was to get these really big bulb lights to kind of fill in the empty spaces. I really like it. I mean, I know it's not everybody's thing, but I like that it fills up the empty spaces a little bit. We're going to wait to put up ornaments later on. I don't know when later on, but maybe after nap, huh? You want to put up the ornaments after your nap? Because it's pretty much that time. So I just put the girls down for their nap. And I thought while the girls are napping, I would show you guys my ornament collection. And the only reason I'm doing this is because my ornament collection is 
really, really small, <laughs> really small. If it was um, bigger than this, I, I wouldn't do it because that's a lot. That's like a lot to talk about. So I'm just going to show you my little collection and I'll show you what else is going on our tree. And I thought that would be really neat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I'll start off by saying this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. What this yeah this little arch right here <laughs> that was all bought within the last like month and these this little bit um uh, that's older but i have this little moose and i love this little moose i got it at walmart and i love it i have this little snowflake and it says joy it's got little jingle bells on it i love this one too and this is an ornament from Carly's first Christmas, obviously baby's first Christmas. And um, I got this in Kentucky when I was visiting my mom. And uh, this is a very sentimental ornament for me that Carly broke. That's broken, that's broken, and this is broken. Yeah, I was not a happy mommy when I saw that she broke it. Because we got this our very first Christmas. Well, it wasn't our first Christmas together. Our first Christmas together was actually in 2013. But um, this was like our first Christmas together as a family because we had Carly by this time. And we had gone to the Ogilvy Festival of Lights, which you guys will see later on in another day of Vlogmas. <laughs> I will take you guys to see the lights. But I got this ornament for our very first time and she broke it. And uh, I'm just going to have to fix it because it's very sentimental to me. But, uh, yeah, that's another one. I have this snowflake, which I got from the Dollar Tree. I just thought it was cute, guys. I got this from the Dollar Tree, because I also thought it was cute. Carly's fish. If you've seen my last day in the life vlog, you already know about the fish. And these little birds. Um, I think I got these. Well, where did I get these? My aunt? My mom? Which one? Oh, maybe it was my aunt. I can't, okay, I can't remember who got me the birds, but the place where I store them at rubbed off. Like, do you see the red where it rubbed off? Yeah, fun, fun. Um, <clears throat> but I still love my little birds. And I'm going to put some candy canes on the tree. They are chocolate mint candy canes. Oh, yum. Because I like peppermint, but I like chocolate mint better. <laughs> that just sounds better. And these are the other ornaments that I haven't taken out of the box yet. Sorry, guys. But these are like the other ornaments that I'm going to put on the tree. They are green and red and silver and gold. Um, I got these ornaments our very first Christmas together as a family as well. And we have like a lot of them. Like there's, oops, sorry guys. There's like two boxes of those ornaments. And then I have this little collection here. Oh, and I almost forgot my very favorite, most sentimental ornaments of all. This is Carly's first Christmas. I do this for all of my kids. Their very first Christmas. I always make a salt dough ornament with their footprints. This is Carly. It says Carly 2014 on the back of it. And these are her footprints. Very sentimental to me. And this is McKinley. It says McKinley 2015 on the back of it. And it's got her little footprints. And it does say mistletoes, but... Uh, was it Carly or Kenley that dropped it? Somebody dropped this and broke it and oh, oh my gosh, it freaked me out. I lost it. I was like, oh my gosh, it just busted. So I don't even know if I'm going to put those on the tree this year. I might, I might not. I don't know. I'm just terrified of them getting broken because if they're broken, then I can't like do anything about it because this is all I have from their very first uh, Christmas as far as like footprints or handprints or anything like that goes and it's so special to me so I just I don't know I'm gonna do another thing this year kind of like this I might do footprints I might do handprints I'm gonna do something but it's gonna be really cute and I'm really excited for it so these are my ornaments and we'll wait for the girls to wake up and we'll put them on our tree Okay, we have all eaten dinner, and I have two little girls who really apparently want to put ornaments on the tree because they won't stop touching them. Papa. So, <laughs> you do. Bye-bye. Oh, you're going bye-bye? Well, okay then. But Kinley, uh, not Kinley, Carly, you want to put ornaments on the tree? You want me to put your fish on there first? 
Come here. You want to put the fish on your on the tree? Oh, look, there's another one of ornaments that they decided to put over there. Put it on the tree. You're going to hold No, no, no. Look, look, look. You're going to hold it like this and put it on the tree. Like this. No. Hold it by the string, baby. Put it on the tree. Go put it on the tree. What? I'm not going to pick you up right now. I can't pick you up and film at the same time. Just put it right here on the tree. And then mommy will put the camera down here in a minute and help you with the rest. Put it on the tree. You have no idea. Okay. Mommy, help. Mommy, help. Like this. Like this. And mommy, help. This is more difficult one handed than I thought. Mommy. Like that. Mommy. Your fish is on the tree. Don't touch. It's on the tree now. See, pretty. Pretty fish in the tree. What's wrong? It's in the tree now. Yeah. Your fish is in the tree now. It's an ornament. Mommy, help. Mommy, help with the snowflake? Where are we going to put the snowflake? I think we should put it right there. What do you think? Is that like a good place for it? This is this is challenging, vlogging and putting ornaments that on the tree fishies. at the same time. Fishies. That fishies. Don't, don't touch the fishies. Fishies. Leave the fishies alone. Fishies. Yeah. You're gonna knock it out of the tree, and then mommy has to put it back, which will probably happen 15 times at least just this week, just today. Okay. Let's do the rest. All right. So this is the final product of our tree. Well, sort of the final product. Uh -oh. I ran out of uh, ornament hangers, so <laughs> it's the final product for right now. And we're already getting candy off the tree to eat. Hey, let's not eat that right now, okay? Let's, yeah, let's not eat it right now. Where did it even, where was it? Was it over here? Oh, Lord. Anyway, that's our pretty tree. That we decorated today. Kind of proud of it. Yes, I do have a book down there. Uh, because my tree is just ever so slightly lopsided. And um, our stand thing, this little um, leg of the tree stand thing, is somehow broke. And so now our tree is slightly lopsided. So I stuck my book underneath there. Oh, I forgot my tree skirt. That's much better. Okay. There it is with the tree skirt. Sorry about that. Do you want to put these on the wall somewhere? Because I don't really care if they go on the wall. What's it What's it matter? Really? Okay. Snowman. It's penguin snowman. You want to put his little face on? Oh my gosh. 
I'll put a space somewhere. See if it'll stick to the wall. Will it stick? Oh, it's stuck! You want to put the little hat on him? Yeah, put the hat on. Will she put the hat on it? Good girl, yay! <laughs> Let's do his little scarf. You want to put his little scarf on him? He probably won't put it in the right spot. That's okay. Put his scarf on him. So these are Carly's beautiful penguin deco decorations. Ooh, I can't talk today. She knows that hats go on heads. As you can see, all three penguins have their hats. But those heads are not attached to the body. And the snowflakes are all together by color. So that was very good, Carly. And good girl. Yes, good job. Yes, good girl, yay. You did a very good job putting the penguins up there. I'm so proud. Yes. I think I'm going to close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and comment what you put on your tree. And if you want, you can follow my social media. Links are down below. I have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.